Hi guys, welcome to this Redbubble tutorial. In this video, I want to do, uh, bring to your attention some of the um, items that you, you have to set the default uh, colors for. They may not be too obvious, you just got to drill into the uh, to the product to find those default colors. This is this video is mainly for uh, beginners, you know, someone who's new to um, Redbubble. But I hope the more experienced uh, Redbubble users will also get something out of this. This came about when a friend of mine at, uh, new to the Redbubble approached me and said that his design wasn't displaying correctly in some products because uh, you know it didn't it didn't display the the, the colors had didn't match uh, the product. So I showed him how to fix it, and I thought I'll make this video to maybe help others as well. So I'm gonna so let's get started. I hope I can, uh, you know, by demonstrating through this video, I can explain better than trying to do it in words. So here's a similar design my friend had. This, this is my great, uh, amazing design. Um, as you can see, it has uh, light and dark colors. And this is what it looks like uh, on, a, uh, on a dark color background. So I've now saved this as a PNG, transparent PNG. I'm going to go to my store and upload it. And here we go. There we go. So now I've uploaded this. Now for the purpose of this video, this is this product is not going to be visible to my store. So I am going to only make it visible to myself. I'm not going to do too much uh, in terms of adjustment. I am going to, however, add a solid background to some of the items that may need it. And I'm going to only enable a few items. Um, you know, when, you, when you're doing yours, please just ensure that you correctly make sure the, uh, the design fits well in your product. The three, the main ones I'm concerned is these three. So I'm going to go start with this one. Uh, I'm going to fix this up by moving the, the design up, adding a dark color. And also I'm going to go into settings and enable the kids clothing. And I'm going to apply changes. This one. Uh, uh, the uh, large print uh, print clothing, move that up, add a solid color as a default color, and apply changes. The hat, um, look, it's fine the way it is, but I want it to be a darker color so that my design uh, pops out. And there. That's it there. Um, that looks fine. So like I said, this, this design is not going to be available in the store, so it's only going to be visible to myself. No. Okay. So let's now take a look at the, after the initial upload. You do have to tweak your products to make sure that your design fits well with the colors and it'll pop because you need to uh, make that first impression with your buyers. Okay, as you can see, these products here, the dad had the baseball cap uh, defaulting to a lighter color. So my design is getting lost in those uh, products. This one too. Also the, the, the scoop t-shirt and the baby kids clothes. Okay, now just to point out a few other things. The water bottle, unfortunately, can't have a color, a background color. So my suggestion is uh, creating a, uh, a separate design, making the whole design a, a, a dark color and uploading it to this product only. And the same goes for the magnet as well. You know, this, uh, create the design with all dark colors and upload it separately to this product. Now to fix the rest, I'm going to go and click on edit. Not to worry about this. Uh, this image is very small and will not fit these products. Uh, but when you when you do your upload, please make sure that uh, um, you upload the highest quality image. Okay. Remember remember the uh, the the kids clothing. I'm going to do that one first. I'm going to go edit settings. And next to kids clothing, you see this default link. I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, the short sleeves baby one piece is set to a light color. I'm going to set it to a dark color. 
I'm going to check the rest. A baby t-shirt is fine, dark. Kid t-shirt, fine, it's dark. Apply. Okay, next is the large print clothing. The premium t-shirt is fine. There's other, here, the other ones that we saw before. The premium uh, scoop t-shirt, as you can see, it's light. I'm going to set to a dark. And the long T, I'm going to set to a dark color. Apply. Now remember the, the caps. The bucket t-shirt, the bucket hat is fine. The baseball cap, I'm going to set it to a darker color. Even darker. And the dad hat, I'm going to make it dark as well. There we go. So there we go. I've now drilled into these products to find the uh, the other the other I guess uh, other other products behind it and set the default colors. So now I'm going to go and click on save to see what it all looks how it all looks like again. And as you can see now, those items have got, um, have been set to the proper color to make my design pop. And here's the long T as well, the scoop T-shirt, and the, the kids' baby clothes. So remember, this is only as a default color to display on your store. When, so when someone comes to buy these products, they can choose the colors they like. You just got to make sure that your image sits, you know, makes your the, the product color makes your image pop or makes your design pop. If you have, you know, uh, light colors in your design and you've got a light colored product uh, initial as a default, it's not going to be very attractive to the buyer. You want to attract that buyer to come straight away and take a look at your uh, your products with your design. So I hope that helped guys. I hope you got something out of this video. Uh, please don't forget to comment, ask questions, any feedback below. I will always get back to you. Uh, it may take a bit of time, but I will always make sure I answer every, uh, every comment. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. If you like my video, um, please hit the like button. It'll certainly help uh, on the platform. So yeah, thanks for watching.